Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and this is going to be your stock watch list for the 6th of November election day, midterm elections. Market was uh, choppy today ahead of the midterm elections uh, for tomorrow, November 6th. Uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, some of the news that came out courtesy of the trade exchange. Uh, so after hours, uh, we had this uh, AVEO. You're looking at an after hours chart here. Uh, it was halted news pending uh, news eventually did come out on uh, AVEO uh, announces a phase three uh, trial of one of their products uh, and meets primary endpoints. All right, so the stock uh, after coming out of halt, it popped up to $3.30 and then gave it all back uh, in the after hours. Um, as far as uh, some earnings that came out after the bell tonight, uh, we had uh, Mylan, MYL. Uh, they were an earnings per share beat by eight cent revenue miss. Uh, they didn't mind that revenue miss on this one. Stock is moving up in the after hours tonight. Uh, NBIX earnings per share beat by four cents revenue beat NBIX uh, that stock uh, moving down in the after hours uh, let's see what else did we have we had uh, NEOS had some news uh, offering on its uh, of its common stock on NEOS uh, we had uh, TWOU earnings per share beat by two cents revenue beat COHU earnings per share beat revenue miss uh, R A R E, the biotech's earning per share and revenue beat on that one. Uh, as we scroll down through uh, ELF, E L F, uh, I remember that one was uh, up quite a bit. E L F, he tried to type. Uh, so E L F uh, gapping up in the after hours tonight. Earnings per share and revenue beat on that one. Uh, a T U S. Uh, earnings per share and revenue beat. Uh, that one is moving up in the after hours. Telecom services on that name. Uh, let's see what else did we have as far as news in the after hours. Uh, C-A-R. Uh, uh, Avis a budget uh, that one is moving down uh, they missed revenue uh, missed by 20 cents revenue miss so that stock is moving down in the after hours uh, I N S Y uh, therapeutics to assess strategic alternatives on I N S Y uh, that stock not doing too much in the after hours um, Let's see, Oxy uh, Petroleum, OXY, earnings per share beat by 22 cents on OXY. Uh, that stock uh, ticking up a little bit in the after hours. That's an oil play. Uh, let's see, uh, MOS, an ag name, MOS, uh, the Mosaic Company is up uh, big in the after hours. They beat by 11 cents, uh, all, but they had a revenue miss, but the street didn't mind that, so they're pushing MOS up. Uh, CF also, another ag name. Uh, ticking up a little bit. NTR, this is the old uh, pot ash. Uh, NTR is uh, moving up in the after hours in sympathy uh, to that. And uh, let's see, what else did we have going on here uh, in the after hours? Uh, I think that's about it as far as the big companies. RCII, earnings per share beat by three cents. RCII, uh, rent to center, that one is moving up a little bit. Um, scrolling through uh, top earnings for tomorrow morning. Uh, you see the the large amount of companies reporting tomorrow. We're still in the thick of earnings season. Uh, so here's some of your syndicate news that came out. Triple uh, CL filed a form uh, SF3. 50 million mixed shelf. Uh, KURA an S3 mixed shelf. O filed uh, an S3 also, so uh, some offerings coming out uh, courtesy of the trade exchange. I wanted to bring over uh, a list of stocks. I'm not going to go through all these stocks. I just wanted to show you that uh, percent change uh, for Apple today. We were down 2.27% on Apple. Baidu was down 2%. Baba down 2%. Uh, Roku was down uh, almost 2% for the day. AMD down uh, one point. 
0.63%. Uh, Google was down today. NVIDIA was down. So a lot of tech companies down. Facebook was down another percent. Uh, Twitter was down a bit today. Uh, so as you can see, uh, it was weak in the tech space. Square was down almost 4% uh, for, for the day. Uh, ATVI uh, was down almost 7% for the day. To the upside, uh, we had the pot stocks uh, getting some buying. We had CGC moved up about 8%. Crone moved up uh, over 2%. Uh, Netflix um, was up over 2%. Costco got some buying. Intel was green for the day, up about 1.12% there. Uh, MOMO was up today. Walmart was up today. Amgen was up. TLRY, another pot stock, was up today. Uh, Microsoft was on the plus side. Nike and Under Armour were up today. Uh, Boeing was up a bit. So as you can see, it was kind of a mixed market. market. Mostly uh, techs were down uh, today. Uh, let's see, PayPal green today? Yeah, PayPal was green today. Uh, as far as the markets uh, themselves, uh, percent change here and uh, you can see that the oil sector uh, the XOP was up today uh, VIX got a little buying today uh, the OIH and the other oil sector uh, services sector Schlumberger Halliburton uh, that was up about 2% JNUG uh, got some buying today uh, XLE the uh, spider energy sector was up 1.67% banks got a little bit of buying up about 1.5% for the day and uh, let's see the Dow was up about 190 points. The S&P was up uh, 15 points. And uh, to the downside, we had the NASDAQ was down 28 points for the day on the uh, NASDAQ. All right. So uh, your IWM was down a fraction. Uh, oil itself, USO, basically uh, flat. The XBI, the uh, IBB, sorry, uh, was down fractionally also. So uh, that's kind of some of your markets uh, today. Uh, TLT, we'll take a look at that. Now, when the TLT moves down, interest rates move up. So uh, don't see any... Um, anything that tells me that this is going to reverse any time, so time soon. Uh, we're still below the 5 uh, EMA on the TLT. So once again, when the TLT moves down, interest rates uh, move up. All right. And usually the market does not like that. So the main thing around the uh, market right now is uh, uncertainty. All right. We have the midterm elections uh, on the Sunday video. Uh, we talked about how the FOMC uh, meeting is coming up. Uh, it'll be announced on Thursday. Uh, go back to the previous video uh, if you want to see the uh, let's get ready for the week ahead. I go through all the earnings and whatnot. Um, so. You know, the market basically chopping around before the elections. Uh, there were some trades out there. We got a trade in uh, Intel today. You know, I like to play strength, relative strength. So we got a trade in uh, Intel. We got a nice trade and a bounce trade act actually uh, in uh, Apple today. Uh, moved up a couple of bucks from where we got in. So that was a nice trade. But overall, um, you know, not an easy day uh, for every trade that I got. I mean, ended up green about, uh, I don't know, 200 bucks for the day. Uh, so, uh, you know, not a big day for me today, but uh, not a losing day either. So we'll t leave it at that. Uh, by the way, Trade Exchange putting in some top insider purchases uh, that came out after hours. So we got uh, CHK, uh, MA, uh, VNOM and all ETFC, uh, a couple of insider purchases there on E-Trade uh, Financial. So there's some of your top insider purchases. Uh, listen, if you want to come into my uh, room and check it out uh, tomorrow, uh, we are going to be open uh, to uh, free access, but you have to email me, all right? So uh, just send me a name, an email, and uh, we can get you into the room. The room opens up tomorrow at around uh, 7 o'clock, 7 a.m a little bit before uh, the screen share goes up and whatnot. Uh, so if you'd like access uh, for those days, uh, put your name, email us, and uh, this will be down in the uh, description box. Uh, we'd greatly appreciate that. And so you could come and visit us in the room for tomorrow. Now, we're a day trading and swing trade service at Zozo Stockwatch. Uh, so having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stocks I'll be watching uh, for tomorrow. First one up uh, is going to be ABIO. 
All right, had a nice uh, close here, 3.2 million shares on ABIO, so we'll watch that one. Uh, ADOM, another one of these under uh, 75 cent names here. Uh, this one was popping up, uh, 3 million shares today, ADOM. So keep an eye on that one if you like those. Uh, pot stock we talked about on uh, yesterday's video, APHA. Trades on the uh, Toronto Stock Exchange also, but now trading on the uh, NYSE. So this one will be on watch. Pot stocks, we're getting some buying uh, into the close and during the day today. Uh, blue Apron uh, perking up. Um, so this one, uh, about uh, 4.5 million shares came into Blue Apron. Was still stuck below the 50 SMA on uh, APRN, but trying to turn the corner. It might be one you might want to watch. Uh, AVO, now uh, it was looking a lot better uh, when uh, I was looking at it earlier. Now it's given most of it back, but I'll have it on watch, but not as... Uh, not as uh, powerful as it looked earlier, so we'll see on that one. CGC uh, has been uh, moving up in the after hours tonight. Pot stock again uh, moving up, so CGC. Uh, CHCI, uh, real estate services, nice pop up in this one. Uh, 1.6 million shares. Uh, this will be on watch for tomorrow uh, in the after hours, uh, trading at around $2.80. Um, going to be watching an oil stock, uh, ConocoPhillips uh, for tomorrow, trying to turn the corner here. Uh, we had this sell-off. We bounced off the 200. Uh, we had kind of an inside day here today. You know, couldn't make headway, uh, but I'll have ConocoPhillips on watch tomorrow. Maybe a possible swing trade. Uh, CRBP, uh, another cannabis play. This is in the actual ETF, the MJ, the ETF for marijuana, uh, MJ. All right, and uh, the MJ also turned back up. So I'll have this uh, CRBP. It's one of the components in there. Uh, CRMD, uh, watching this one, if it can get up over a dollar uh, fifty-five intraday, you see the uh, RSI 14 on the daily chart starting to turn back and get above this 50 spot. So we had this uh, move down to the 50. Now we're kind of getting this uh, U-shaped bottom. CRMD, we'll have that on watch. A Crone, C-R-O-N. Uh, this one will be on watch also uh, trading at 845 850 area in the after hours so that'll be on watch uh, CVM also uh, you know had this big run up on CVM uh, now we're at kind of like the midpoint right holding above this 250 area from the run uh, so uh, turning back up has this 350 360 area uh, up ahead so I'll keep it on watch uh, not a lot of volume in this one though uh, let's see if it catches on a little bit so CVM uh, ears let me check this one uh, not doing too much in the after hours uh, you know 2.5 million shares is still trying to get up over the 20 uh, SMA on the daily chart here for EARS uh, elf uh, had those good earnings uh, after the bell tonight that one will be on watch uh, Ulta right we talked about this one on the video last night uh, did get up over that 285 spot on Ulta uh, we got as high as uh, 288.65 so uh, if you watched the video last night uh, you could have had a nice uh, entry and trade in uh, ULTA. Uh, let's see, what else? Gurn, um, you know, 6.2 million shares came into Gurn today. Uh, you know, you could barely see it on the chart here, though, for G-E-R-N, Genron, Genron. Uh, so, you know, I'm not in love with this, but it is holding above the 13 right now. Uh, it's trying. The high back here was $1.88. Uh, the high today was $1.82. It probably needs to get up over $1.90 for that $2 break uh, on GERN. So keep it on watch. Uh, we'll see. Not a favorite on that one. Uh, INUV had a big, big uh, volume push here on INUV. Let's check it in the after hours. Uh, holding most of the game. Gains a dollar thirty eight here uh, in the after hours, trading up a few pennies from the close. So INUV will be on watch on this big expanding volume. Uh, IPI, it's a um, agriculture play, so maybe this gets some sympathy from those MOS uh, earnings, right? Moss MOS was up in the after hours, so maybe tomorrow IPI uh, will want to do something. There's uh, Moss again. Uh, Enbev uh, up, uh, taking out this 450. 
uh, on uh, NBEV. And uh, this one is, uh, you know, trading up about here at this 449, 450. The 13 EMA on this is around uh, 470 for NBEV. So I'll have this on watch again uh, for tomorrow on uh, NBEV. So keep an eye on it. I think, uh, you know, if the pot stocks are going to go, uh, this one might want to uh, participate. Uh, so let's see, NVCN. Now this one recently did a one for 100 reverse split. Uh, 1.9 million shares uh, came into this name. Uh, so maybe it's starting to turn the corner. It's getting above the 20 uh, SMA again. A good solid candle here, right, on volume. Anybody remember Alt? All right, now this thing did a one for 30 uh, split on uh, alt and they pushed it up to thirty dollars now i'm not saying that's going to happen uh in the case of uh nvcn uh but that is a pretty good looking candle on decent volume so it doesn't hurt to have it on a chart oracle uh held up uh, today oracle is looking okay i think it needs to get up over that fifty dollar uh area though for orcl so uh watching that one plag i tell you this thing uh popped today uh, just, uh, you know, after that it popped up and then it did nothing for the day. Uh, so it popped up to about six bucks or so and then gave it back. So I don't really like this candle, but, uh, if this market gets haywire again with these little ones running, uh, this PLAG could go put Yeko, uh, in that same light. Uh, Yeko has been, uh, trying to get above and hold above, uh, eight and change. Uh, the high here on Yeko was, uh, 850 today. Uh, so keep an eye on this one. Uh, you know, might want to make a move intraday for tomorrow. Uh, PYX, uh, this thing moved without me today. I just was not on this name at all today. Uh, nice candle here. Uh, trying to get up over that 50 spot on RSI uh, 14 here on the PYX. Now, this thing can be, you know, spready. Uh, you can only trade it with uh, low shares because it can uh, be spready and it's very volatile. It, it moves up. It comes right back out. At you so if you do trade this one trade it small uh, in the after hours it's trading at uh, 2750 in after hours on PYX uh, cannabis uh, play there SLS uh, watching this one for that uh, 190 break let's see if it did it in the after hours no so SLS looks interesting uh, if it can get up over that 190 192 spot and then lastly um, uh, Trove was up a little bit here in the after hours, TROV, uh, so it's on watch, not a favorite, but uh, we'll end it there on TROV. Like I said, if you'd like to come into the room, uh, tomorrow we have uh, open access for the next few days, the 6th, 7th, and the 8th. Uh, just fill out that uh uh, email and your name, send that to us and we'll get you in the room uh, for the following three days or one day, whatever you want. Uh, even if you're a swing trader, you're welcome to come into the room. I'm a swing trader too. We do day trading throughout the day. And if I see something good, um, I'll let the folks know and I put that out uh, for swing trade. So this is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Have a very nice evening and see you uh, tomorrow with another video for Tuesday for Wednesday. All right. Have a good day trading tomorrow.